Okay, so let's say we have an object of mass m, and we launch it with speed v star on a horizontal surface. It then goes up an inclined plane. The angle here is uh, alpha, and the length is, say, l. And then it comes up onto a surface where there is a spring uh, with spring constant k and the object compresses the spring and we want the maximum compression of the spring xc for compression we'll verify that so this is just an energy conservation or work equals delta k problem <clears throat> so how much energy is there at the beginning well, it's all in kinetic form, so we have one-half times the mass times V star squared, and then afterwards that energy is shared between gravitational potential, because we're at some height, and that height is L sine alpha, so we have L sine alpha times mg, and the spring, and therefore one-half K, times the unknown xc squared, and so we're solving for the xc. So we're taking this to that side, and we're getting that <coughs> xc is equal to the square root of the mass over the spring constant times the v star squared minus uh, 2gl sine of alpha, and that's the maximum spring compression. If we think of this in terms of the warp, then there's negative work done by gravity and negative work done by the spring. So from the perspective, so this is energy conservation. And from the perspective of work equals delta K, we're just rearranging these terms, right? So these are both works, works and they would appear on the left-hand side. Negative work done by gravity, slowing the object down. Negative work done by the spring, also slowing the object down, and that's equal to a difference in the kinetic energy, final is zero minus the initial. So it looks like that. We end up, of course, at the same place.